Howdy gamers, how's it going? So I was using the funny mic as a bit of a meme and I very passionately just explained what I'm about to talk about for about five minutes until I went to edit it and realized that the audio sounded like something dragged out of the pits of hell. So this is going to be a very rare gesture second take. I usually don't like doing second takes because I think you lose some of the genuine inspiration that comes from talking about it and I like to prepare beforehand before I really start to record. But regardless, I'm going to talk about gesture MMO. I know that I made a video about two days ago speaking about Jester MMO, and I, I don't know if this was lost in translation when I was trying to say it, but with that original thing, I was just trying to be like, hey, this is something that I think is important. Whenever you're learning programming, having a little project you're working on on the side really keeps you motivated and keeps your mind focused on what exactly you want to do, because I think a lot of people are like, oh, I want to learn programming, but don't really have a good idea of what they want to do, unless they're maybe like, hey, in the long-term future, I maybe want to turn it into a job. But really having something to actively work on helps a lot with motivation. And that's what that was originally intended to be for myself. And just because I spent a lot of time on it, I thought it was kind of neat. I looked to share. And then all of a sudden, I got a really, really cool interaction with a lot of people from the YouTube where a lot of people were messaging me on Discord or in the YouTube comments being like, hey man, I'm really excited for Jester MMO, which wasn't even really my original intention. It was like, not that it isn't my dream to actually make it, but it was originally just supposed to be kind of like this motivational thing I had little intention to actually make. But regardless now, it exploded into something way more than that. Now I had over 10 people message me being like, hey man, I'm really interested in helping you out. And I want to I want to learn programming too, and I think it'll help me keep me motivated. Or even one person who is also going to help me run this stuff. He's another lead person, which is going to hopefully be nice, and he's been very active in the Discord. His name is uh, Jizz Boss. <laughs> But regardless, there's quite a few people, such as Lily, which she's the first person that contacted me wanting to help. And then there's Gaming Duck, Eat My Sir Walter, Lord Luigi's, Can You Can't Purple Cosmic, GN Party, Tigs, Catfish. Uh, everyone, I got a whole bunch of interest by people wanting to help me out, and that's really neat. So now all of a sudden, there's this team around the game. And now I have spent time managing people and trying to set up, okay, what am I going to do? And it's becoming something way more. So if you're at all interested in learning programming, in particular, what we're working with right now is Python and C++, and you want something to really keep you motivated, absolutely throw me a message on Discord. I'll see what your interest is in. And it isn't even just programming. We have people that are doing stuff for lore. We have people interested in some of the art that's going to be used for the game and a lot of people talking right now about what how they want the game to look like in the role because there was a role in the discord where you you'll be invited to a private uh channel and voice chat in my discord there's people interested in lore in the art our engine we're going to use right now and the modeling thing and i'm pretty confident these is using panda 3d as the game engine and we're going to be using blender as the modeling because i've been asked that a lot i kind of wanted to clarify i think it's been a hell of a lot of fun and now that i have people that genuinely care I'm going to work really hard at this. It's been consuming so much of my day and just trying to even manage people, which is fun, honestly. I never expected to be doing something like this and it's been a hell of a lot of fun. You know, I'm, I'm genuinely, I'm generally someone who's just very ambitious and overconfidence and we have very little ground to stand on. I'm just kind of swinging at the wind with this game. It's kind of now I'm interested in people and trying to set up a system so that way people can learn to code or learn about game design. But that really is what almost it is now. Oh yes, one last thing is that if you're someone who's around from the very beginning and this ever does become something more where this is actually going to become a game and there's investing behind it whether that be we've talked about what it could be whether that be potentially through more traditional investments or even something like crowdfunding once we get to the point of maybe having a playable demo then the people who are here early on will absolutely be the first people i try to get before i'm worried about hiring elsewhere you will absolutely have the first picks of me actually finding people to maybe do this as a job if it does get to that point. Now that is going to be far away, I would like to put that out there that there is potentially real benefit other than having a good environment and people to ask if you have any particular questions about programming or game design, but that this could genuinely become a job if I end up sticking with it long enough and it goes as well as it already has been going. This is kind of odd to have came out of the one of my worst performing videos I've ever done. Like viewership wise, it's one of the worst videos I've ever made, but I'm not really that concerned about this stuff. I do I do just make videos for the sake of enjoyment. And as long as someone watches it, even one person, I'm happy. But this video, even though doing poorly statistically to YouTube, the amount of people that have messaged me interested about this has been insane. I, I had no prediction whatsoever that this many people would genuinely care about this and be willing to help. I think that's about all though. Have a good one, gamers.